Red Dead Online is going offline tomorrow morning, and today on the show we have all of the details on exactly what is going on here. This should be a relatively short video, but I do have some extra things to discuss besides the maintenance announcement from Rockstar itself, so let's get started. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, and if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Rockstar has announced a server maintenance that's scheduled for October the 4th, 2023 from 12 to 3.30 UTC time. You'll just need to convert that to your local time zone to get actually the time that is going to be offline for you, but that's going to be from 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Central U.S. time tomorrow, October the 4th. And during this period, you can expect both games to likely be inaccessible here. Additionally, if you're gaming on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One or PC, any achievements you unlock won't appear on Rockstar's social club until after this maintenance concludes, but as Rockstar states, the maintenance might not even last the entire window here, as Rockstar has noted that services will resume as soon as they're done. So why the maintenance with Red Dead and GTA? Well, primarily, it's to ensure server stability and optimal network functioning for the millions of players that Rockstar gets globally. Moreover though, seasoned Red Dead Online players will remember that such maintenance periods sometimes lead to minor updates or server-side adjustments as well. While that isn't confirmed with this announcement, it definitely is something to keep an eye on for once the servers are back. Now, while discussing this maintenance as well, you may be wondering about some other problems plaguing Red Dead Online, so I think it is essential to address the elephant in the room here, the bugs and glitches that many of us have been grappling with here, especially for those on console from the September 2022 update. Those problems vary from the horse stable issues to issues surrounding the naturalist role and samples, it's been a rough ride for many dedicated players since these problems started over a year ago, and they're still continuing to this day. Now, the September 2022 title update was the update that introduced the Skeldings Contract Telegram missions to Red Dead Online, and as exciting as that new content was, it's been apparent that that update brought alongside a bunch of unintended complications, and also some of the biggest and most long-lasting disruptions to the state of the game we've ever seen. Now, it is important to remember here, however, that while we can all hope this server maintenance might address these concerns, it's probably still aimed at backend stability rather than the gameplay mechanics. I know a lot of players have been questioning in the comments if these issues are ever going to get fixed, and by them hearing the news of this server maintenance, I'm sure some are going to be hoping that these problems may get fixed, but I think overall it is doubtful. Given that many of these bugs and glitches seem intrinsically tied to that September title update from 2022, it would likely require another title update to resolve them properly. So simply put here, server maintenance often handles issues like connection stability, and it doesn't necessarily address the gameplay or the content bugs we see in these games. There's also no clear indication of when Rockstar might release a new title update to rectify these specific issues as well, which is pretty unfortunate to hear. This year, we actually received one title update that was aimed at addressing various bugs and glitches according to Rockstar's patch notes, but they didn't fix these major issues that we're talking about in this video. And as players, we can only hope to continue that Rockstar is actively working on a fix here and that we're going to see some solution soon or just at some point. But in the meantime, it's crucial for the community to keep voicing their concerns, keep leaving player feedback feedback on the Rockstar feedback link so that they can hopefully expedite the fixes. I don't know if that's going to do anything either because we still haven't seen a fix over 13 months in. Another reason I'm not necessarily holding out hope for these issues to get fixed is because GTA Online is also scheduled for maintenance during this same window. Given that both games are under the same maintenance umbrella, it further underscores the idea in my opinion that this maintenance is likely more about back-end server stability and optimization rather than addressing gameplay specific issues in either game. If Rockstar intended to fix game specific bugs or glitches, we'd probably see staggered or separate updates focused on each game, those being Red Dead and GTA. Therefore, while of course we're all eager for a smoother gaming experience and the resolution of these issues that we have in game, it's definitely advised to manage your expectations for this upcoming maintenance window tomorrow. Fixing in-game bugs, especially those stemming from a title update, often require more targeted patches rather than broad server and upkeep. So while the Halloween event has just kicked off for Red Dead Online 2023, we need to briefly pause tomorrow morning before jumping back in to get some game time in again. Also, if you're curious to hear everything that was added or changed with the Halloween update and event release for Red Dead Redemption 2, then definitely check out the link in my description box for that video where we break down in depth all of the content additions, changes, free rewards, bonuses, discounts, and more that were added this week in Red Dead Online. 
With all that said, we'll be wrapping things up right here. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video, as well as the new GTA Online video tomorrow. Adios, amigos.